This is the Rab Alpine 45 backpack. And this is our unbiased review. Let's start with the specs. Nylon construction, internal frame, light water resistance, 45 liters, and two pounds, eight ounces. This is a smaller backpack recommended for either shorter trips or ultra lighters. Right here's the head crab, and a cool feature is that it's fully detachable. Here we've got a tent attached using the straps on the side. There's some small side pockets here for water bottles and other items. And finally, there's a small pocket at the bottom that can be used to carry ice axes or other items. So a good design backpack will actually keep the weight off of your shoulders, and you can see that there is some space here between the strap and his shoulders, so that over a long you know, hiking period, there won't be any extra pressure there and it won't hurt. The waist strap keeps most of the weight sitting on his hips rather than the pressure on his shoulders. So one thing you don't always see in our videos is that Robbie and I's backpack are sort of not properly fitted and a lot of times they dig into our shoulders. One thing I notice immediately about this is that it's really comfortable. And when you have a backpack that just doesn't fit very well and digs into your shoulders, you often find yourself doing this type of thing a lot and trudging through the forest. That's not very pleasant, but this backpack actually fits quite well. So you might have seen in our Smoky Mountain videos that it was pretty wet. This uh, backpack actually has the advantage of having a waterproof zipper for the top compartment, and then the main compartment actually has a, a rollover clip to keep water out. In addition to that, the material is actually water resistant too. When you pour water on it, you can see that the water kind of just rolls off of it, so it does have some water resistance. One of the first things I noticed when we unboxed this is that the build quality is really good. It just has a really nice feel to it and you can tell that it's well constructed. So one thing I really look for in a backpack are a lot of options to uh, customize it and put things onto it. This one doesn't have as much because it's more designed for an ultra light backpack where you wouldn't have as many things. You can see how on this backpack we kind of use the compression straps to get the tent on the side. Uh, my backpack has a lot of extra pockets and just uh, things that you can you know, hang carabiners on. There would be no problem attaching my tent to this backpack. Uh, I kind of like having extra pockets just so I can keep everything organized when I go hiking. There are some straps here and side pockets as well. And there's some loops on these little uh, hip, hip huggers, I guess. So there is some good customization. And of course you've got the main pocket and the little pocket on the lid here. With a little bit of effort, you can undo the straps for the hip and remove it. But in addition to that, the head crab is also fully removable. Uh, so that's actually kind of, kind of a nice feature. You don't have all this extra bulk on there. So after testing the backpack in the field in Red River Gorge, we got a feel for how this backpack would or wouldn't work for us. It even rained, so we were able to test out the water resistance. Probably our main concern was the storage space. So to give you an idea of how much space there is, we're going to pack the following right now. A tent, a sleeping bag, a hammock, a tarp, a two liter platypus, a water filter, a small camping stove, a pot, and a food bag, which we forgot to film here. So everything goes in, and the tarp goes on one side, and the tent on another. This is a backpack. <laughs> so we finally got to take this out to Red River Gorge. Yep. And you're the one who got to wear it the whole time. Yes. What are your general overall thoughts so far? The first thing that I want to say about it is that it's a really nice looking backpack and the construction is really good. I felt like the material is really solid. So as far as like just a backpack that I feel like I could take out and really get some good use out of and not feel like it's going to fall apart on me, it's super solid. So I just had food in my sleeping bag. It's huge. So at first, like I, I was kind of thinking that it wasn't big enough because it just took up the entire cavity. And then after we're just filling this up just now, I kind of feel like space is actually not much of an issue for this because we put a lot of stuff in here and there's still room to strap these things on the outside. We put three shelter systems on here. <laughs> <laughs> so my main complaint is that there is a lack of customizability with extra straps and everything because there's none on the bottom, which is where I usually put my sleeping bag. The other thing is it's supposed to be water resistant and we got caught in some pretty hefty rain. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually funny because we just got a camera that's water resistant too. So we didn't put any rain covers on this, didn't put any rain covers on the camera and just let everything go. And I will say that the water resistance is actually pretty good. It's not waterproof for sure, but my sleeping bag itself, which was inside the main compartment, that didn't get wet at all. So it'll give you some water protection. And this was without any sort of extra cover or? Yeah, it didn't have any extra cover or anything on it, so. And I guess one of the most important things is how comfortable is it? Because that's one of the main reasons we were looking into other backpacks. That's true. 
it fits really well. I was actually able to get a good fit from it, but I will say that the hip straps are not the most padded. After a while, it did start to dig into my hips a little bit, but I'm also kind of bony. So <laughs> maybe if you've got a little more padding on your body, it won't be so bad. But for me, it was a little bit hard. Okay, so overall, what are the pros? What are the cons? Would you recommend this? As far as pros go, I'll say, like I said earlier, the construction and build quality are really good. The water resistance is actually quite good too. And it's surprisingly spacious for how small it is. You can, you can fit quite a bit into it. Cons, I'll say that the hip straps are not the most comfortable. There are not that many straps on the outside for customizing with different configurations. It is surprisingly spacious, but it's not as big as other backpacks. It's a 45 liter pack, I think. We tend to pack a lot because of camera gear especially, so this is not exactly a perfect fit for us, but if you pack on the light side or if you're an ultralight camper, it's actually a decent size. Would I recommend this backpack? Yes, I would. I would recommend this backpack if you pack on the light side. If you pack on the heavy side and you're the type of person who wants to have lots of stuff, maybe not the best fit. I didn't give it as much of a test as you did, but the comfort seemed great. It's great durability, great quality, so I guess I would recommend it to most people. Yeah. I've never heard of the brand Rab before. Had you? Mm -mm. But that might be a good thing because some brands you hear a lot are not necessarily the best. <laughs> That's true. Thanks again to Sierra Trading Post for providing this for us and letting us review it. You can go to the description to check out Sierra Trading Post's channel, website, and the link to this backpack. The sun is setting <laughs> on this review. <laughs> Wow, dude, 